Yes, sir. Welcome uh, to uh, Pub Breakfast. This edition, it is Tuesday, so it is Man Cave. And of course, we are discussing, we are picking up where we left off last week because many people, there are a lot of comments, questions we didn't manage to get to. And it's all about, uh, you know, managing uh, the breakups. You know, we already uh, thought that, you know, found out that they cannot be clean breakups. Those are heated argument uh, that ensued. But, uh, Pastor Kuria, who is with us here, we are still, we Roy Karuiz and Sheila Kamboka will be joining us a little bit later on. And Pastor Kuria's argument was that uh, it all boils down to maturity. Mm -hmm. We're going to be coming uh, to that in a short while. But a quick reminder: the hashtag to use is for breakfast on Twitter, and the SMS number is two two four two two. That number again: two two four two two. So Pastor Kuria, maybe we start from where we left off last time. Uh, there is an element of maturity. This Tell us about what, you, what you, did you mean? You see, the Bible says, mm. a man shall leave his parents. Mm -hmm. Not a boy. <laughs> a man. Yes. Wearing a trouser mm -hmm. and a big size does not show that you are a man. Mm -hmm. A man is in the brains. Mm -hmm. Big size, you mean trouser? I did trouser. No, I don't okay. mean you're like boy, boy, uh, your body. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. You can be a boy. Who is big mm. and you tend to think mm -hmm. that uh, 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 because now you are uh, you, you are big you can get into marriage mm -hmm. you are not mature you don't know the meaning of marriage you have never sat down on a counselor mm -hmm. to teach you about marriage mm -hmm. so you are just going to do there to do some experiments mm -hmm. so in the in, in doing the experiments if, 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 if I, I think you went to secondary school if you make your your marriage a testing tube mm -hmm. then you can mix anything and at the end of the day, it can burst. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and once it bursts, mm -hmm. it, it's, uh, 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 it's called unmature, unmature uh, 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 parting. Mm -hmm. Because you must part with the person that you are with. Mm -hmm. And you know there is no woman, there is no man who gets into a relationship mm -hmm. to do some experiment. We go there seriously, mm -hmm. knowing that we want to be successful. We mm -hmm. want to have some successful marriage. Yes. So when the differences comes, we should know how to uh, make our differences mm -hmm. in a mature way. Mm -hmm. now, of course, uh, there was uh, a lady who was arrested for locking up her keys in the house at night to go and look for food in the bar. And uh, th that happened sometime this week. And, uh, you know, we're talking about also the rise of the baby daddy as well. Um, so, there is this uh, element where these days there are men who are proud to say, I'm a baby daddy. I take, I take care of my own, including somebody who was very high in power who came out and said, Ah, we are new Melinda, we are Toto Angu Ndio. We don't mention names. But uh, why, why are men nowadays more proud of being baby daddies than being fathers? It is once you have rotten morals. Once the morals are rotten, mm -hmm. and you, 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 live, you live in an area whereby you say, I don't care. Mm -hmm. But finally, you'll end up coming in an estate called I wish I knew. Mm -hmm. Because I, I believe every man wants to leave legacy mm -hmm. to his family, mm -hmm. to his children, to people who are looking at you. Which legacy are you going to leave? Right. Mm -hmm. When you are talking that you are whatever daddy. Mm -hmm. yeah? Baby daddy. Baby daddy. Mm -hmm. Which legacy? Would you like your son to be like you? Mm -hmm. Would you like your daughter to be like the one you are using or misusing mm -hmm. for that matter? So when we ask ourselves those questions, I think that's the beginning of maturity. Mm -hmm. And now you start behaving like somebody now who is knowing exactly the direction he's going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and so, so you're saying that when uh, all these things are happening because of immaturity. It's immaturity. So what makes somebody mature, Sister? To you idea when Actions you speak louder than words. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It does not take a, 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 an angel to show somebody that you are now mature mm -hmm. it takes just you show us your actions then we are the people who are going to say who you are either you are mature or you are not mature because a tree does not give fruits so that it can eat <laughs> the fruits are eaten by people who are around the tree and they are the people who can say the sweetness of the tree uh -huh. yeah all right so sheila is has joined us sheila kwamboka welcome what i do hey guys Hi. Just Hi. Just Hi. A conversation yeah. with you. and this one is that important one <laughs> <laughs> how are you doing i'm fine as you can see <laughs> <laughs> the pastor is saying that uh, you know 
the reason why people are wearing the baby daddy tag with yes. a badge of honor is because he goes back to his point of immaturity. He says men are not mature and they are not thinking about leaving a legacy. Why he says sasa kama mtoto wako ni leave proud to be pia it will be daddy. What are your thoughts? You know it's so crazy um that I've, I I even have friends mm -hmm. who carry that titled baby daddy with so much honor. And I remember when we started this conversation mm -hmm. and we decided we we're going to discuss it, mm -hmm. it was how did we move from father exactly yeah. to baby daddy? Right. And uh, I think just to add on what Pastor is saying, I think it's that you want to um, sort of not be responsible. Okay. So okay. non-committal. Yeah. And, and that is the major right. thing because we live in a society right now where it, it is possible to live with someone and not commit to anything. Right. So you can have a child with someone, they're living in their house, you're living in your house. So you don't want too much association. You don't mm -hmm. say you're a dad, you want to say you're a baby daddy. Mm -hmm. But the, Im the impact to the child you know, growing up knowing, uh, do you call them baby daddy? Baby daddy is coming, or, or do you call, just them? call them daddy? Yeah, yeah, do you call them daddy? Yeah, yeah. So it's crazy. I yeah. don't know why people just decided they want to be baby daddies instead but of that. You yes. see, you see, there is that uh, sense of belonging. Will that kid have the sense of belonging as to, uh, as far as the the daddy, so-called daddy, is concerned? Mm. Will Will that kid have a for a fallback position? Mm. Will I be proud to be called daddy by that kid and yet I have a wife who has children and they are still calling me dad. Who, is the real, who, who am I real to? Yeah, but you know men have, you know, we, we always talk about polygamy right. um, and men have always managed to take care of their children. Mm -hmm. I mean from history, you know, even you'd hear, uh, you know, someone would be like, that. those three only one mm. yeah and then somewhere in the middle there i think when economy peer on a job maisha squeezing in good you know when it's school fees mm paka -hmm. university you know that's what you think immediately mm -hmm. so you're like what was the kujito and start in case because women usually when you see the man is not giving you too much commitment you cut him off and move on mm -hmm. so i think it's also that you want to give someone else the responsibility but you want to be able to claim that uyo Mm -hmm. you know without yeah. having to pay for the the responsibility mm -hmm. yeah. uh, flip the script a little bit is it also because the rise of baby daddy is happening because uh, uh, women have uh, for lack of a better word been trapping men now total for a committed relationship whereby they equate having a child equals we must get married we must settle down uh, if there's a woman out there who's <coughs> thinking in that direction uh, no I don't think that's that, that's a very smart move. Mm -hmm. It used to make sense uh, during our grandfather's time to trap a guy because as soon as a man makes you pregnant, your brothers, uncles, father, you go Everybody to that comes. person's boma and you're like, this man has done A B C D E. Mm -hmm. Hence, we need a wedding. You quali, quali. There's a marriage right. that has to happen. Mm -hmm. So dari blah blah blah. By the time that child comes, he's coming into a stable home. Mm -hmm. But now what you have is a situation of you meet a guy, he impregnates you the place where you thought was his house the caretaker na kwambia mimi hata tujayo na mtu huyo hapa so what are you stuck with you that those cards he was showing you not instagram account imefungwa mm -hmm. you don't even know where this guy came from mm -hmm. so i think with with the way the society has changed yeah. nowadays where yeah. nobody has that you can be you can date someone for 6 years and you don't even know his middle name mine is Wayne. <laughs> so uh, really really <laughs> I, 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 let, let me put something godly there and I want to tell you guys that marriage came from God. Mm -hmm. So whoever is trying to do against God's purpose is abusing that whole thing. And you cannot be successful. It's like taking your kid to a veterinary doctor <laughs> because, because he is a doctor. Yeah. Only you are forgetting that he is not a doctor for kids. Mm. He is a doctor for animals. So you have to know when, when, when my marriage gets something wrong how am I going to fix it? Mm -hmm. I'm going to take it back to the owner. Yeah. If, the, if, the, if the machine that you are using that right now here, mm -hmm. if they break down, you cannot get that part to a, me a car mechanic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It has its fundi. You see, now people have forgotten that they cannot drive relationship without the one who created the relationship. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you put God outside marriage, 
then it will not work. Right. But this is not marriage we're talking about. Yeah, so whatever. This is, this is not marriage we're talking yeah. about. This is it's actually that. Shira, Shira, Shira. Be daddy is because the Bible says once you sleep marriage. with a woman, uh -huh. that woman has become your wife. All right. So there's a guy right now who's just found out that he has over a thousand like, wives. Yeah. <laughs> and we cannot afford them. So that's abusing. From campus. Yeah. <laughs> gonna leave me. So why should you abuse? <laughs> but 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 that it still goes back to that point where is it also that uh, it is becoming permissible and you know like o o so often when you have this conversation and Roy is just about to join us as well we always have an issue with setting back from how it used to be in the traditional days vis-a-vis yeah. -vis what it is now yeah right so is it that uh, we're seeing is it also moral decay i guess absolutely uh, absolutely uh, uh, what we're talking about here mm -hmm. there was a sense of community mm -hmm. you understand right now you can have a whole apartment block of single ladies who are pregnant for men they do not know mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. and the whole community there is okay with it mm -hmm. because how do you even approach that lady and tell her hey baba um yes. you know you know what i mean mm -hmm. but community the sense of community mm -hmm. is i think the fabric of community is also i don't know whether it's decaying or change or doesn't exist no i think they have they have slumbered a bit yeah, they have forgotten. They have forgotten their job yeah. as a community because I am supposed to be your keeper. Mm -hmm. You are supposed to be my keeper. When I'm going wrong, you should shout to me. Hey, don't don't go that way. Yeah. Hey, don't go that way. But now, when I go wrong and you can see, everybody says, Ah, oh, But also, you know, we don't know when you're doing these things. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't know. We just shtukia. <laughs> 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 uh, Roy, <laughs> uh, welcome, Roy. Uh, we, of course, you know the topic about uh, several points have been raised uh, here. Pastor says, of course, maturity Sheila is also of the same idea, ideology rather, and the fact that there is just moral decay. But I think you side with me on this one that wanawake wanatrap wanaume. Hence, I, I have to slightly side with you. That's slightly <laughs> side back. <laughs> Right, Bob. But I'll tell one thing. I was not going to tell you about the 20 child. Eh? Okay. I was. <laughs> but to me, <laughs> uh, but to me, they think I'll agree with with Willis in the sense that to some extent, women have put, put guys in certain traps. That the woman realizes in the end, she's almost put herself in a trap. Right. You know, they say talk about trapping men. They, they're nothing like that. They're actually only trapping your own life. Mm -hmm. Actually, going to give you a guy who is not yet committed to you. Mm -hmm. But I think the biggest problem is the fact that. The trivialness with which we treat children today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The child is considered as an asset, as a property or something. It's like having an extra car. Yeah? So if you're even a good looking child, is even a more pimped up baby. Mm -hmm. So that you can just show off with and say, hey, I'm on my number four. You've not bought a new car. Mm -hmm. The human is a child. And for us, guys, what is worrying is that men have begun to see the pride. Yeah? The pride of having these three or four kids mm -hmm. who are not in the legal framework he's been talking about in terms of marriage mm -hmm. because the moment you have a child with someone at that point you guys have a very serious relationship mm -hmm. you can't say that the only linkage between me and this woman yes, is this child. baby you've already committed yourself to a very strong relationship so you cannot pull yourself out and say that it's a very trivial relationship the, right now we treat uh, uh, baby daddies as slay kings we're making it look like an achievement mm -hmm. yeah because i think the day we start looking down on guys and actually uh, castigating people who do this the attitude will change towards how trivially we're treating children mm -hmm. but you know i feel like i feel like okay that's the ideal situation right. because what's happening on ground when you're looking at when you're looking at people to look up to for example if there's like a 21 year old who's watching the tv right mm -hmm. now and i don't know whether it's just me but there's a spike in you, people in campus mm -hmm. you know you find a 17 year old who already has a baby daddy mm -hmm. and you're like what's happening mm -hmm. but then you look at what you know what is being presented in society your favorite rapper and your favorite uh, actress between mm -hmm. the two of them have five yeah. different baby mamas and baby daddies mm -hmm. a lady is okay with saying you know what i have that guy and that guy yeah, and I'm that guy yeah and and it's become it's become sort of not the norm mm -hmm. so this is what you're looking you're looking up to mm -hmm. because also you must remember that um there was a spike in divorces mm -hmm. in, in 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 our in our parents time which when you you you, ha you have a child brought up in a single home the, when you look at it chances are you're going to also come 
to and have a single home because you don't really look at you know, marriage as something that I, I'd, I'd like to jump in and support her quickly on that mm -hmm. point you know as we're, do, as we're getting into this culture this habit of the last few years as, as she's talking about uh, ladies now reaching a point where they're saying I, can't, I have no problem having a kid with this guy and I need another kid have another one with this guy who's the victim in all this story the kid the kid, the kid right. Right. in a few years time what's going to end up happening Yes, it is easy to say that all these kids will get along like the United Colors of Benetton, right? <laughs> and they don't love each other in the colors of Bumali. Mm -hmm. Yes, you might say that. But the reality is, what you're going to breed is because your selfishness has brought other children into this world, you're going to breed selfish children. Because now it's all about it's me and what I get out of life. Because the reason is we're beginning to now take, and again I say children very trivially, because me having a child with a guy, nearly said with Willis. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> Me having a child, I don't have the capacity. <laughs> wow, wow, the capacity. No, no, you're looking good. You know. <laughs> 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 anyway, <laughs> <Same Nicolai. laughs> <laughs> Me having a child with Sheila, right? <laughs> denotes that I want to have a relationship with Sheila. Right. I should, it should not denote that I want to have a child. Are you getting the difference? But, but you see, you see, there, 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 there is a lot of devaluing yourself. Yes. You don't That's give yourself the value. value. Once you don't give yourself the value, you'll become a pick and pay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And nobody is going to give you. Once, if you want to, to be valued, mm -hmm. you have to value yourself. Yeah. You're beginning you to pick up kids like loyalty points. Yeah. But no, you know, I feel, I feel like I feel like this conversation sort of has been skewed to the woman is the one who's mm -hmm. causing the baby daddy syndrome. I gotta also put out there that there are men who are actually who are now. Look, we live in a society right now where you're making your money, mm -hmm. right? You want children. But you don't want the, 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 the family yeah. stability. The responsibility. What are, what are these men doing? You meet a girl, mm -hmm. beautiful, young, fertile, yeah? <laughs> Impregnate her, take care of all the responsibilities, and leave, and not leave with her. That's what I'm doing, that's the slinking. And <laughs> this is, this is how, you know you want four kids, you want them to look a certain way, so you look for that, that babe, have a, a baby with her, support the baby, and that's about it. Mm -hmm. And this... In fact, this is the, the, the real yes. syndrome that is out there. Because there might be a chick who's actually, you know what, I, I like this guy. And he looks like he wants to have kids. Yay! Then you have the kid and you realize it's not you he wants. He's using you as a shamba. Is, is, uh, is, is it normal normally a discussion of, okay, now we want to have kids. Does it get to that point or any circumstance? Let me tell you what it is. When is it right in the sense that that discussion is having people's head? Mm. They're not looking at each other and having the discussion in their head. Mm. It's never physically ever had. Because what we're doing is we're entering relationships very selfishly. I keep saying, today's relationships are more selfish than any relationships have ever been. We're going in not saying, what do I contribute to this relationship? We're going in saying, what am I? Getting out. out. That is why I'm saying, again, what we're calling a slay king, who's going around slaying and collecting all sorts of children, is because we're not looking down upon him with this behavior. In fact, what happens when the guy, the kid, it's like he's achieved something, he's just conquered another country. It's called Father Abraham. It's okay. Hey, hey. He's Father yeah, yeah, yeah. Abraham at least used to be enjoyed. Now yeah. he's no longer Father Abraham. Now he's Pop and Dume. Yeah. Hey, you get your serious guy. You're, you're a serious guy. But because he's going on girl, girl 3, girl 4, girl 5. The day we want to kill these things, the only way is t it's how we treat the condition when it happens. Let's stop re reveling it and celebrating it. Mm -hmm. And turn away and say we don't want to discuss it. But, uh, it goes back to my point. There is no discussion happening. Exactly. So, so, so I guess normally when we have to attack a problem, we look at the root. Yeah. So what is happening? Wh why is this happening? Yes, we've talked about, uh, you know, that yeah, we, people are celebrating it. You see, doom factor. Um, but again, it goes to the point of when two people come into a relationship, right? Is there a point where they decide, okay, there are those cases where, you know, it happens, you know, they, they, they come on one thing led to another, and then the guy, and some, ah, was coming evil, Binta Melinda, we're back evil. But is there normally like a discussion? Do you know what you're talking about? You're using the word when they come into a relationship. That's what we're talking about. We're not having a relationship. <laughs> we're having, there's no retainer, uh, we short term project. Right. It's for a reason. I think everybody. There's no relationship. They, they go there with the wrong motive. Yeah, the motive is wrong, and uh, many people have become money minded or material minded. Mm -hmm. they're, 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 it's this love called eros, <laughs> in a Greek word. Mm -hmm. It's a tick and dog relationship. As far as the dog is alive, the tick will be there. Hey, who is the tick? Who's the once, tick? Once, 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 the dog, once the dog dies, the tick will move and go. Yes. Either 
the man or the lady, one of them is a tick. You are trying to use the other one. You see, you don't have the real, you don't have the agape love. Mm -hmm. You don't have it at all. And, and it's unfortunate saying who's to blame if the tick and the dog can change. Yeah. As much as he does that. Because I'm saying this one is funny. When the dog starts misbehaving, have you ever seen a tick complaining about how its dog is going all over the place collecting other ticks? Mm -hmm. No, the tick knows, after all, has never meant to be in this situation. Which is why the problem exists now in current relationships where you have no stick to complain about where the relationship is because of the nature with the relationship you created. You cannot sit back there. And I've, why we always end up now victimizing women is because a lot of the complaints of how awkward the relationship is comes from women. Mm -hmm. The men when they enter these horrible relationships, they know they're creating a horrible relationship and they are okay with it. Mm -hmm. So they have no respect for it because they created it like that. The woman created it with a very positive attitude. Mm -hmm. Then now turns around and says, Allah, why are you, treating, why are you treating me like a tick? Mm -hmm. Well, you are in that situation. And mm -hmm. the tick, remember, sorry, can be the guy. It can actually be the man, it's not always a woman. Can I also just, I just, I really want to chime in on this one because when it comes to the, the I mean, the topic is rise of the baby daddy. Rise of the and uh, <laughs> we, we've spoken of the, of the minority cases. Now let's talk of the actual majority cases, mm. which is, you met a guy, uh, whatever happens, you were both in a relationship, right? Which was the two of you were in there. Whatever, whatever the case, whether you were loving each other, whatever. But a sexual act happened and uh, a, a, a seed was planted. Yeah. Now, the lady is left there because the man says, Hey, Miss Taki, anything to do with this? Forgetting that, for, it's not in every woman's interest to want to have an abortion. Mm -hmm. Yeah? If you didn't want to take part, if you didn't want to have kids, mm -hmm. one of the outcomes of sex is... Fertilization, which is a child, right. and so you find a lot of men who end up being baby daddies are from this situation where they did have sex with someone who they knew completely they didn't want to have kids. Yeah, with. yeah. You got into that situation knowing you don't want to have a kid with this woman, mm -hmm. and then now here is a situation that has occurred. You can't even be responsible enough. Actually, not a baby daddy. You can't even be responsible enough to take care of the child. Now, the majority of the baby daddies are the ones who take care of kids. You, yes. You know that that guy is the father of this child. In fact, he didn't want to be called father. He wants to be called baby daddy. He wants to walk around. The yeah. child looks exactly like him. He wants to walk around telling everybody, hey, that girl, my baby, um, to, um, to isi wangu. Yeah? But everybody knows that that is your no, child. They don't deny the kid. I, right. I agree with you, they don't take responsibility. Oh, no, no, yeah. But denying it, they don't denying, deny it. Denying. And a lot of times those ladies are saying, mm -hmm. you know what, I don't need him in my life. The first, first question the guy asks you is, with who? With who? All right, we're going to, let's, uh, there are some comments here. The Ingozi says, man kushleo si anapointe mzito. Vikidala and Sama, he's watching the rise of the baby daddy. Yani unayangalia ki? Okay. Um, ka, Kanyi Gyoko, uh, Sama, in this era of milk ATMs, what do we expect? Exactly. And then, uh, Ambia Mbox, Naroi, Wacheze Chini Leo, Pastor Kush is on fire. Inaka, ametoka Praya Mountain. That is, <laughs> using the hashtag for Bro. So let's take a look what you're saying on 2242, which is our SMS line. Someone says, when I got my son, I was worried, but my dad just told me take one day at a time. Funny enough, one way or another, things are working out, despite the fact that I took in my sister-in-law's son as well. That is Kolesh, that's your name. And uh, somebody's also saying, Pastor Kuria, there are some people who are using your name in media sessions to con Kenyans. And they conned them an amount of money. Uh, anyway. Pastor. Yeah, pastor. Not so, the name, Kuria. Yes. Uh, hi, guys. This discussion is a nice one. Uh, and I said, my... Oh, even as my wish, I go and juggle. Pauline from Kajiado, I know TV na pia na fanya kazi. And then somebody says there cannot be a crisis in a home because mtoto tomoja amekata chakula sababu haku bemelezwa na mandazi. I think that's a problem. And with a Paul, kutoka na Romi, si ju tu 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 chambu eh. There cannot be a crisis in a home because mtoto tomoja amekata chakula sababu haku bemelezwa na He's saying the problem has to exist because of two people. Mm -hmm. There's not a Diwan and Mekata Kula, mm -hmm. that's where the problem came in. Right. It has, a, it has to have been caused by two factors. Mm -hmm. yeah. By the provider ka, ka, and the taker. Ka, ka, coming back, coming back to my side. Or oh, either that or he's talking about Mandazi. Yeah, he's angry. Yeah. A crisis <laughs> in Mandazi. Can I answer the text to his wife? Yeah, about Mandazi. Yeah. And I said, by the way, I will take a Mandazi. I will take a Mandazi. Somebody is asking to call in, will by the way, we'll start doing that. Yeah. We'll try to get that. So his name is Mkenda Ndaima. From Mombasa, uh, unfortunately for now you can't call in, but you can SMS us and we're going to read it 
uh, for you right here on TT42. Yeah. Oh, what I think is uh, before anybody engage himself or herself in a relationship, mm. you should think so much about the future. Mm. If you put future number one and calculate, do the calculation, you can know who to engage yourself with. Failure to that, you'll be just a grasshopper yeah. jumping to any Tom Dick and Harry. <laughs> They're like insects and animals. Mm. So. You get what I mean? And at the end of the day, you'll end up desperate. Because you'll have two kids, mm -hmm. different fathers, and the kids does not know. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the excellent point. Every relationship you make today is based on what you see tomorrow. And because these guys are thinking about how much they're enjoying today or how much they're getting out of that relationship today, they're not thinking there's going to be a child mm -hmm. in this story. We're saying that here a lot of big brothers are denying kids and all, but a lot of both parties are coming in knowing the possibility of us getting the kid is very high. Yeah. And they're okay with it. They're not calculating the consequences of it. They're okay with, as long as they treat me well, what, I can have a kid with it. And this one, as long as I can keep hanging around this chick, then that's okay with it. No one is thinking this child will grow with a very selfish attitude that we engineered ourselves. Mm -hmm. What about... No one thinks about our future. Mm -hmm. Ni sasa kuenjoy now, unakula mandazi, it's easy. Mandazi, what about the select uh, few who, and these are people I've also met who, the ladies who are just saying, okay, I'm at a certain age, mm. and, uh, I don't really think I need a man, but I want a child. Uh, before we get to the <laughs> final for that, I just want to add on that. Wow. Let's face the reality. Mm -hmm. If men were the ones who are being pregnant, <laughs> there'd be no baby daddy. <laughs> That, that, that's the truth because be I don't know why men feel okay I guess it's because of how society is that mm. the child must always go with the mom yeah mm. but if we are being realistic and that's where society is going that and, and I want to I want to kudos all the men out there who decided because just because you've denied the child doesn't mean that the woman it's the woman's responsibility to no. take on the child mm -hmm. she probably also doesn't want the child you understand so it must be we must be grown-ups and, and I, I want to urge everyone, if you're going to get into sexual relation with someone, please let you it be a mature grown up. Yeah. Who you, who may send an, 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 a contract that if anything happens, happens. Yeah, please, the outcome is for both of us. Mm -hmm. All right. So, women <laughs> who decide they want to Only have. mental contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just sign that contract right. knowing that. Whatever Breaking. the outcome to Copamoja. Yes. Yes. I, 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 I think pregnancy yes. is not an accident. Mm -hmm. I, yes. It is not an accident. The lady, when you are going out for a man, Mm. You have to know yourself. Whether your egg is in the ovulation, whether you are safe, because once you get in there, like swimwear. like 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 any anything else, mm. without thinking about your own future, you are putting yourself in danger. Because maybe even the guy who is being called uh, baby, baby daddy is, is is married already, but there is something you are insisting you need from you insist on it from it. So that's why, that's why I'm, I'm not so much blaming, blaming men uh, as far as pregnancy is concerned. No, but men should but, but take no, responsibility. No, 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 no. You have Gipanga when you are going to them. That's what I'm saying. You, yeah, you yeah, see, yeah. you're excusing. What you're doing is, you're excusing. excusing. What you're doing is, with that said, because you're saying it's the responsibility of the woman to know when is her time. Mm. But here's no, the no, situation. No, no, no. I just support that. That's what he said. But what I'm saying is, fine, then let's also have responsible men. Because this yeah. situation is not being created by women who are running away from their children. Mm. This is situation of the baby daddy. Is, you don't, let me ask you, have you ever heard of baby mommy? Thank you. Okay. This is not a situation that is happening. Let this let is let literally 0.001 percent of baby. Let me, let me tell you. Come on, so it's not such a small. It is a big. Hold on, hold on. Percentage hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get my point across. My point is, mm -hmm. you can't sit at a panel like this and say that the issue is that women know your time. No, no, no. no, no the issue no, here wrong. is Absolutely that wrong. men, mm. you, when you abscond duty, let's let us not that. even let us not let's even not discuss that. We're not, we're, we're not even going to. We're let's not talk about that because that. that's pretty obvious. We're not going to accept that. Right. Okay. We must also hold men accountable. Of if course. you're going to meet a girl and you know of that course. the outcome of this is pregnancy, it doesn't totally. matter whether she knew that she was on ovulation time. But, but you were. But both of you, we've just agreed here, Sheila, that both both will take responsibility. But Willis has talked about a very interesting phenomenal thing that phenomenon, mm -hmm. epic mm -hmm. thing that has come in where he's talking about women sitting back here and saying yeah. I now want a kid yeah, for me the statement the only worrying part about that statement is a kid comes out of a relationship, you see that's what worries me about that statement where it's not I want a car are you getting me really? Mm -hmm. that's my worrying part about because the premise on which that is starting is already worrying mm -hmm. because there are going to be consequences of that 
And I'm saying in the modern relationship, Sheila, what you're not acknowledging is whether it's 30 percent or 40 percent, it's not five or 10 percent. There are women who are coming out with the whole intention of saying clearly, <laughs> my priority is a child. Yeah. And when I get a child, I don't need the guy. It's okay. Yes. And I'm just saying that percentage is not as small as you're making it that's sound. That's not like the one I was case. talking about. In that yeah. case, that's not the one I was talking about. I'm well, talking about the percentage of ma of of, uh, of baby mummies. Yeah, these are people yeah, who have yeah, scored it. Yeah, but, but the reality of stuff when a woman decides she wants to have a child, and I know you're saying that okay, you know what? The, for the for the child, we're not thinking about the child. It's not a car. They need to be in a relationship. But what you're saying with that with that the implication of that is for a woman who's not been able to get a man that that fits, fits her, her fits, fits her, fits her. Fits what a, she wants. Yes. Then she get frustrated. She 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 should stay without children. No. Don't, and what ends up happening is because society is dictating things like this that hey yes. you must get a man then there are lots of women who are settling for men that they that should not even course. be having any business but you, you of course have a situation yeah. where women are compromised so right i, I think we'll meet in the middle on that one right you, no it's okay we'll meet in the middle you know why you're surprised is because we've agreed on something i'm keeping quiet i'm, keep, I'm <laughs> keeping quiet on that point because when that woman says i need a kid she has to go to a man when she knows that even if it is one time, she will get a kid. Mm -hmm. Is it true? Mm -hmm. So she is the one who, is, who has prepared herself. I, as a man, am not interested with what she is interested in. Yes. She has put me into a trap. And mm -hmm. if, I, I, I told Roy last time, that if a woman needs you, she can get you within five minutes. Yeah. But if you need her, you can maybe spend a, a year or six months mm -hmm. before you get, because she say yes. So, this putting men into traps is a plan, is a plan. Somebody who have sat down and planned something. Now you are coming out at the right time. So, even when others who have not planned get babies, they should also... Really, really no, but w wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no, hold on, hold on fast. Mm -hmm. We must... Uh, uh, come out categorically to say that women who go out there and say that they want to have kids, it doesn't necessarily have to be a trap. Sometimes you they know, tell them. It doesn't them. have to be a trap. Yeah, there are spam banks, they okay. there are friends that you have, and you're like, you know what? Um, so I want to have children. Hey, These Gina, conversations are Gina, there. Which movie is this you watch? No, 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 no. These this conversations are there. 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 Yeah. You talk to your movie. friend and you say, hey, you know what? I'm in a situation where I'm looking and I've seen you. And I like the way she says they're there because there are few. That's how few they are. They are there. We have to look for them. What I'm saying is. Mm -hmm. if you give me a chance to get my point across <laughs> here, is that it, it's not necessarily a situation of a trap and I love Ed, that every single time we sit here there's always this toro of how men are trapped yeah. Yani, men who are supposed to be the most intelligent species on this planet no, 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 men yeah, exactly. who are the women conquer are. this world is created by men for men who are being trapped now let me tell you something this world favors men but women are more intelligent no this man was yeah, created yeah. for men by men yeah to serve me. Uh, very quickly, I'm going to take some that comments that here as, <laughs> as, as we <laughs> diffuse. Why don't you let, uh, no, why don't you let be, be just, just let be at least. Okay. Because it's, it's, it's bad. It's, it's bad. bad. It's mm. If a woman is not interested in a man, she should go to, to the hospital there is a spam bank. And that's the only yeah, that's what she likes. But that's men. Right. You, you get me? Uh -huh. But that, she's but not interested in that. She is interested in that. me. Yes. Because but she but knows my brains. That's what she want to to, to, to carry. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a brand thing. Sheila, that's what I'm saying. Me, the worrying fact. I, I I do agree that the chicks are saying as Willis has brought up because that issue is very sensitive. Mm -hmm. right? yes. And to be honest, it's very hard to victimize anyone in that in that situation because there are different conditions that lead up to that. As she was saying, you could be a frustrated woman who is you've not met the right guy for you. We have struggled to have the right relationship. So you're getting frustrated. Yet you do adore children and want to have kids. Yeah. All I'm saying is there are a lot of. In that contractual conversation, there's a lot of consequences that you have to take in mind, right? And a lot of consequences that some people, when it occurs, and when it starts happening, all of a sudden they don't want to face up to the, yeah, consequences, the consequences of all this. Right. Because you'll end up, you're going to say this, let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. You're going to have kids with three different men, right? You're going to be judged. You cannot not say, because I wanted to have children, I want to have them, I also don't want anyone to judge me. Because it's going to happen. I'm just saying you'll have to accept it. That's one of the consequences. You'll have to take that box and say, you know what? How people refer to me and the way I'm looked upon or frowned upon, that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Which is okay. Yes. Yeah. Which, as long as you're okay with that. I said again, as long as you're okay for the consequences that are coming with it. You then have another struggle too. Right. You'll have a struggle in terms of... Because 
what ends up happening is once you get to three four you start having guys who are not able to play the role as responsible men in that relationship because four guys are not going to come and meet like a football team in your house and have meetings with their children what is going to end up happening it's not a secretariat yeah so you those kids now you'll end up raising those those kids by yourself by yourself because the, you'll have to look for a really mature guy who's willing to say that you know as me i want to be in this story from start mm -hmm. Finish. Finish. Let me take a look at uh, a few comments here, and especially our hashtag for breakfast as we get to work on our 2242. Sam Anderson says, Lots of women nowadays are having babies with the wrong men. Lee M. Vitao or uh, Lee Madenga says, Cool panel, great discussion. It's high time we praise good mentorship and we start taking responsibility. Um, okay, this guy's name is Under 18 Sex Awareness, but his, <laughs> his name is Christmas439. He says, Very shocked. Baby daddies are contributing to fatherless kids and hence poverty for their late for because they later abandon the children. Timothy Munyao says, Kamboka, you have just read my mind on that baby mommy thing. And then Ngozi says, This is real. And uh, Shiko N says, Sheila, girl, you are right. If men were the ones carrying the pregnancy, this baby daddy thing would not be in existence. Most of the times, it's just sex, at least to this baby daddy syndrome, not relationships. And then also, Ofole Mukama says, uh, men who are baby daddies, uh, <laughs> he says, your mom is ashamed and your dad should have yeah, done what Sahila did. Yeah. Take charge. <laughs> and then, uh, Jem, Javin Omukangala, so it's well said, Pastor, anybody can put on trousers, but not everybody can be a father. Watching for a breakfast from Kajado. I feel like it's important to just um, add that I understand the, the whole issue of, you know, getting a woman who has different plans from you. Right. Now, I'm going to use that same word trap, mm. and I'm going to give an example of... I didn't make the word trap, eh? So uh, yeah, look, it's him. Look in this direction. Yes. If, if a rat comes to a trap, and eats the cheese, yeah? Food and it's blame. trapped. Do you blame the, the trap. trap? No. You blame the rat for seeing that there was danger, but still going there and trapping itself. <laughs> and my point is, yeah? And I like that Pastor always uses references from the Bible, yeah? Men, if you know, like, if you know there's danger there, you still keep going there. Mm. You find something that is suitable for you, yeah? If the woman, if conversation, if you want to have sexual relation, then a conversation of what future do you want? Do you want to have kids? Because I don't want to have kids. Should be the first conversation before your genitals meet. Let's be realistic. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's, that's, but I what's wish happening? That's case. I wish that was exactly. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I that's what that I said. This is an ideal conversation, mm -hmm. and it makes sense for men to blame women because you feel like the rat that keeps going to eat the cheese, knowing that there's danger. Okay, can I say yeah. something, please, Sheila? Mm -hmm. Let's keep rats and traps together. Let's continue the rats and traps. Yeah, I don't have rats in my place. I know some of you might have more experience. <laughs> no, no, Touch mouse. No, let's go to this, right? Touch mouse. One thing knowledge. this rat has acknowledged. Mm -hmm. yeah? <laughs> One thing the rat has acknowledged <laughs> is that there are a lot of traps. Yeah. So whether whether it is my whose fault it was, let's acknowledge there is a trap. You have acknowledged that a trap exists. There's a plan. Let's okay. The one trap is quite heavy. That's what I'm, I think the, yeah. the problem is. The one trap is heavy. But I get the extent that what Pastor is saying is actually true in terms of someone has planned for someone else's life or the role they shall play. And the problem is in today's world that that plan is not being turned into a conversation. Mm -hmm. You're planning, as I was telling you, Willis, of you're thinking of what you want and I'm thinking of what I want. But you're not talking about you're not talking about life. Because you're not, that's the you're problem. Not, there's We're no real connection. There's no real relationship. Change. Now, the problem is I'm going to go into these rats and traps is when the trap gets the rat, let it not complain that I didn't get a better animal. I got a a rat <laughs> because when you set up plans like that the tendency of what you're going to land will not be the best smelling or looking thing mm. but you're going to land rats you want to like say that everybody everybody, everybody, yeah, everybody, kind of everybody should carry his or her own cross right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. otherwise when you are getting into that business you know exactly what is the outcome Rats and yeah. trap. Right. so be, be, be wise when you are getting into it mm. and especially with some of us yeah. Especially men. Some of us this one was for men. <laughs> <laughs> this one was for men. For all those people who no, are no, just no. there 
absconding will, will baby it, daddy I don't know why we are not saying that duties. she keeps ignoring those 30% or 40% of the ones who are planning the ladies are going out there saying, so saying this is what, this what I want yeah 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 so many, excuse me uh, don't uh, blame a lady for being ambitious okay yeah, but I'm just saying and then, growing, she don't, acknowledge it's okay it's okay, okay. Yes, that's what Kwani, I want let me ask you Kwani they are going to Madare and trapping people in no, Madare no, they are not trapped I don't Thank call them trapped no 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 what I'm asking is the people who these are all grown men these are like for yes. example if you're a boss in an office okay and you impregnate uh some intern who's half your age your daughter's uh, uh, age mm. has she trapped you no 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 no, no she hasn't. the first daughter. question is no. what the hell yes what are you doing there yeah. yes. okay number two some guy who has gotten his he has a job and big guard and has gone to seduce or has been seduced by a campus babe and she gets pregnant whose fault is it Yes, but you see, no, I don't no, know no, no. Uh, yes, she's looked at a shamba. She's mm -hmm. looked at future mm -hmm. security. You, the question now becomes: Look, what happened in Daniel Campus? No, no, I accept men's blame. All I'm just saying is, we're right. saying where was the rise coming from? Where was trying to support me saying that sixty percent of fifty-five percent. What is what? What, what used to be chance is reducing. Yeah, because now we know that. Now, it's now, fixed. The, now the point is, mm -hmm. she's saying guys are going out there jingishing in these things that we are calling traps, which mm -hmm. is wrong. But I'm also saying women are going out there and planning for this thing so also. It's both, it's both sides are playing. We have to raise up the standard of our IQ as far as wisdom is concerned. 40% of the women are now beginning to be okay with the situation. 60% of the men are sitting out there saying, it is okay for me to have six kids with no responsibility. Everyone is playing their part. The percentages, let me tell you, we are not IEBC, we are not jury, yeah. we are not counting the votes here. So we'll we will not count the votes on this table. We'll start with you to give your, your final comments on this. What, what is the... the My take on the for, uh, for me it's very sad. And I think the, the take I'd like is a, what Sheila calls ideal. And I wish that could happen more. But if, the, if these are the decisions that people are going to make, let these be spoken decisions. If your attitude as a woman is to say that I want to have a child, irrespective of where it comes from, Yes, but I want to have a good child. Hopefully, I look for the right kind of guy to have a child. I don't need necessarily want to have a relationship with him. Then these have to move from mental decisions to actual conversations, mm. right? Then that way, both of you will be prepared for what happens later. For men also, I'd say yes. With a guy, when you see you're beginning to have that sexual relationship with a the girl, then sit back and ask, actually have a conversation now. Like, wait, where this is going? If we're to get a kid. What, what, would happen? what would happen? Yeah. Okay. So don't wait for the situation. So I'm agreeing with Sheila in the sense that what we really need to do is we need to start a conversation early so that you both take responsibility for the crime. And in conclusion, I'd like to say that we need to start being less selfish. I believe relationships are deteriorating to selfishness. It's about you, your ambitions, what you want to have, the kids you want to have, and not about fostering the right relationships you want to have that will secure a bright future for the people around you. Mm -hmm. I still insist, a good relationship or a good guy or a good chick is made out of someone who wants to share something with you. Look at what you put in, not always what you're Get taking out. out. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm so worried because uh, the society, the morals in the society, 80% has decayed. Mm. And uh, most people are careless about their own future. They don't mind about tomorrow. Some of them are coming from a very humble background. And so they think once you hang yourself to somebody, you, you, he is going to be a stepping stone to your success. But you come to find that he is just a stepping stone to your failure in life. So it's good to approach that, this whole thing with a lot of maturity, with a lot of soberness, and know that you have a life to live. Mm. And it, you are the driver. Mm. Okay. Nobody will come and drive it for you. If you're going to en engage in sexual relation, know that there's an outcome. Some, some is STD, some is a child, um, and it doesn't matter whether the, the guy. Yeah, it's the truth. If you get into it, you should know that there is an outcome. And if you already said, you know what, I'm okay with the consequences, then don't worry about what happens after that. And then also for the men, I'd just like to say, don't be a fool. Protect your tool. Right. Okay, so what I want is that there, you know you've had it say that you know if you make you you made your bed so lie you lie in it. So what happens after you made your bed, you lie in it, had some fun over the night and now you wake up and there are consequences. You deal with them as they come and you take responsibility. And I guess the biggest lesson today is don't be a fool. Protect
32. My name is Yuri Sabura. Have yourself a wonderful day. Successful people look like everybody in this table, yourself watching, and all our Kenyan athletes. And of course, you know, <laughs> throw in Manchester there. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Fitness and exercise up next. Hashtag Fitness and Extra. 242 still remains the SMS line. Um, talk to us and enjoy the